Well, I'm going to preface this by saying I really enjoyed the song. Um, I liked it a lot. I'm not a huge metalhead. So first, back to what Champ was just talking about. I totally get it because if you've never heard baby metal before, you're looking for a baby metal or you're looking for a metal band. And this is your first exposure to the band. You're like, okay, there's metal in the title, metal in the band name. And you listen to that. You're going to be like, hmm, this isn't exactly what I was looking for for metal, you know? So it could, you know, it could be a misleading title for people if you don't look at the full album as a one concept work of art instead of if you just hear the song on its own, you know? True. But and I, and with I that said, like... oh, what's that? No, 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 you can keep going. Keep going. That said, I really loved the song because <laughs> I'm like in my head, it's like the circle of life for this baby mouse song you know how the lion king has this big uh like the yeah. song that eases you in to the soundtrack yeah. but then it builds up and it has those huge distant tribal drums and it's kind of building this cinematic tension throughout and like getting you ready for something big so i really appreciate the song in that way is that it's it's like a cinematic build-up and in the context of a concept album i think it's going to be really cool you know once the whole album comes out yeah maybe can i can, can i read a comment here that adam young just posted and he said you guys are literally restating all the gatekeeping criticisms of baby metal that they've been fighting against since they debuted well our differing opinions interesting what gates are we keeping that's just our like what we feel uh, about the song that we listen I, to i think that he's he's mostly probably talking about me saying that it's not metal and that, like, you oh. know, it's weird that they're considering that everything is called metal when it doesn't really sound like metal to me. And I see what you're saying, Adam, because I'm sure a lot of people back then when they heard Gimme Chocolate and Karate and stuff, which are like, you know, you got the Kawhi vocals in there with the metal riffs. They're not overly metal either. You know, oh, they're, it's like they have metal elements combined with other things as well. Right. You know, and Sammy Hagar. That. Sammy Hagar has a song called Heavy Metal. It's not a fucking heavy metal song. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> it definitely happens. Don't get me wrong. Um, but my argument against that would be that I like all of their other stuff, and it doesn't matter to me that it's not exactly metal. The problem that I have with these three songs is that they all kind of have the same vibe. So it's like I'm cool with the first two sounding like you know not so metal or whatever. But the third one, I wanted a little bit more, you know, I, I wanted a little bit more of yeah. veering away from that territory. I completely disagree, so, man. Divine Attack is definitely metal. Like, I think it is 100 percent. And Monochrome is just metal, a slower of a metal song. Like, they're metal definitely ballad. metal core riffs. Okay. I played those. We, those those are they have the metal elements just like their older songs. Like, it's nothing different than before. It's just a different mature sound. But they all have metal elements. In my opinion, I, I just Divine Attack is a I think w would definitely constitutes as a sick metal song. Okay, um, so let's but. drop the whole the, the pretense of what we're gonna call these things. Okay, the, the genre <laughs> okay. stuff. Okay, let's just drop that completely. It doesn't matter to me if it's called metal or if it's called rock, whatever. Let's forget about that. Let's move on from that. I don't love the fact that one of my favorite things about baby metal was that you could go from song to song and get a totally different experience. And I felt like I got a similar experience out of these three songs. Yeah, because so, you're supposed to. It's a concept album. And it has okay. to be the same well, experience uh, all the way it through. It doesn't matter if you're supposed to or not. I don't like. Not supposed to be the same all the way through, dude. Yeah. Like I don't like. But they're not exactly happened. the same. But they have different riffage and stuff. But my point is, like, you're I'm not gonna get that. Section. You're not gonna get that. That's all I'm saying. It, like, if you went in there expecting that, they literally said they were not gonna do that anymore. Uh, for this they album, they said that they were not going to be diverse in their music. No, they said they, it's going to be completely different than what they did in the past, and it was going to be a concept fun. album. But the, but but the songs on the album don't. They can be very different from each other, also, right? In sound and style and stuff like that. To me, these are all sort of in a similar vein. While I look at something like, dude, you can't you can't say like Doki Doki Morning and Road of Resistance sound anything alike. You know what I mean? Like that shows because a concept the album, they all have to be in the same vein, like to, to keep that congruent story. That's why they do that for concept albums. 
Every, uh, every a concept com- album I've listened to has no. always been in the <laughs> same vein. It's always been in the same vein. It just consistently goes through. It's all the same mixing style, same dynamics and everything through through and through. The only thing different I heard on the new one was is a little slight uh, variation in the guitar tone. But overall, it's same style and everything. But I don't know. I feel like I'm, there's a lot of concept albums that I really, really like. Um, I, I I would consider the last bandmate album uh, a concept album. You know, um, I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna say like straight up the concept that they're going with. Then like the sound of it. Uh, not a fan. I, it's not my favorite sound of theirs. I think. I think what really appealed to me to baby metal in the past was the fact that I didn't know what I was going to get out of every song. And some songs I didn't like at all. Some songs, Papa Yeah, I, I heard that and I was like, this, I don't like this at all, you know? But then they, it didn't matter because the next song that I heard was Elevator Girl. And I was like, oh, this is freaking awesome. Sounds nothing like Papa Yeah. Really, really cool. So I'm going, you know what? I don't care if I don't like Papa Yeah because I know that the next song that I listen to, I might love because it might be totally, totally different. And I understand that they're doing a concept album, but I guess the concept that they're on isn't really working for me as much because I, I, I like Divine Attack a lot. I like Monochrome even better, I think. But it's it becomes a pattern for me. And when I get the patterns, I start to get bored with it. So like, I just, I wanted the third song to sound really different than the first two songs. And to me, it didn't really. So if, if that's, you know, if you're cool with that, then you're cool with that. That's fine. But for me personally, it just didn't. It, I guess I that leads. I guess I, 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 wonder, I wonder what will happen though. Will they do the same style in the next album? That'd be the question. Like his album, huh? And we have seven songs to go that we haven't heard, so we don't know where these songs are gonna sit or how the full dynamic of the album will be yet. You know, no, we don't. So all all we can talk about is what we've heard so far. And so far, it's what we think, man. <laughs> but hey. You got. We all have our own opinion. You, I mean, just because you didn't like it, we're just sharing our opinions. You know, we're uh, not it's trying not even, to tell you what you should think. No, and it's not even that I didn't like it. That's the other thing. I know people are going to take it as yeah. I, I'm, I'm talking shit about this and saying that I don't like these songs. Like once you see my review, first of all, if you saw my reviews for for both Divine Attack and Monochrome, I was very, very positive on both of them. And then this one, I wasn't even negative on. I was just by the end of it, I went, you know, it it's given me the same vibe that the first two gave. And I was looking for a, a, a change, I guess, you know? So yes, there's still seven songs left. I'm hoping to hear some, a little bit more diversity on the album. Alan is completely right that when you do a, um, a concept album, they usually kind of sit, stay in the same vein rather than veering off course. But I feel like the thing that I loved about baby metal the most throughout their career was the fact that they did do that, that they did get really diverse from song to song. You know, like I said, and I'll always use these two examples, Road of Resistance, Doki Doki Morning. Look at the difference between those two songs, how much they were able to do in those two songs, uh, genre-wise and stylistically, and and go, they're totally different songs, but they're still baby metal, you know? And uh, it's kind of the opposite of, of what I was getting out of these first three. Yeah, and just to answer uh, Dusty's um, comment, the theme can be the sound, the story, and all of it. All of it is considered for for the concept. And somebody's mm-hmm. mentioned The Wall by Pink Floyd. And there's definitely similar vibes. There's a con- constant sound between the guitar going through that entire album. But I don't, like I said, just my opinion on it. But you're right. You can do the theme on just the vocals alone. You can do it with the overall sound of the album. I mean, there. I mean, it's it's supposed to be like a story. I almost consider it like a story, you know. Um, so I'm curious where the story leads. I'm more excited about the whole metal verse kind of idea of it, and um, we'll see what happens with the rest of it. And yeah. they do have a trailer, by the way. They have a one minute trailer where they show a glimpse of all the songs, but. It, um, on their channel go ahead and wave sorry oh cool. for more guys and goodies like you just saw be sure to subscribe to the guys and guys podcast and turn on all notifications to be part of the live stream every sunday you can also find us wherever you listen to podcasts spotify itunes etc uh you can find even more exclusive content and reactions on our patreon patreon.com slash guys uh, i'll see you there adios <laughs>